The left guard here for the Pittsburgh Steelers is number 66, Alan Thanica. And this August, he's going to be inducted into the National Football League Hall of Fame. He was as good a pulling guard as there ever has been in the NFL. You watch him at left guard here pull and just knock down a defensive end here from Cincinnati. And there goes Willie Park. You could just count the number of times when he would pull and yards were gained. Bam, right there. Opening up the gate right there in a playoff game for the bus to go 25 yards. 2005, biggest run of the game. You know, there's a popular highway that runs from Chicago to Los Angeles. Route 66. Get your kicks on Route 66. That's what the Steelers did. And it was uh, all kinds. It was screens like this right here. Picking off the man in coverage right there on Willie Parker for him to go 19 yards in that playoff win against Cincinnati in the jungle. And then this, putting his man on his back right here. Down goes a banger and in goes the bus. Five yards for a touchdown score. So many big runs in big games were right on Route 66. That's where the Steelers got their kicks. Watch Fanica pull and just clean the alley out. The play is called power up when he pulls to the strong side and the backs will run behind him. So good for so long. In this playoff game here in 2007, it wasn't just pulling to the right. He could G lead and pull to the left. As good a pulling guard as the NFL has ever seen. For 13 seasons here against Jacksonville, Steelers clinging to a one-point lead late in the fourth quarter. What'd they do? They went down Highway 66. Route 66 clearing it out right there for Davenport to go for five yards. Trying to run out the clock. Didn't quite get it done. Jackson would come back and win that game. And then he took his talents to the Jets. And it was instant chemistry between DeBrickishaw Ferguson and Nick Mangle and Woody, the whole group. Ben Hartsock to tight end. He was the missing piece right there for Rex Ryan's team. In 2009, they would run 610 times. It was the same plays. It was get on Route 66, let Fanica just pull and clear the way out for Thomas Jones. So many big runs. Sanchez, a rookie quarterback behind a great offensive line with great chemistry, was able to do playoff play action right here. Short passes, long runs, like this one to Dustin Keller in a playoff game for 43 yards, all set up by the play action. They went to San Diego and they shocked the Chargers because Fanica could get to the second level and guys like Sean Green would cut right behind him. Big day for the Jets this day, right here. Here it is. Here he is, just a zone read, playing with Mangold, but feeling color in the backside with Brick and then going up on the linebacker and waiting for Tony Richardson to come and clean up. And what do you got? You got a Jets wall for Sean Green to run behind. Oh, it was a big run. 53 yards to pay dirt, ping pong and inside behind Alan Fanning. And there was passing these stunts like this, bam, to keep it clean for a rookie quarterback, Sanchez, to take the Jets to an AFC championship game. And it was this, Brett Favre, you know, in 2008 when he first came, he brought the offense with him. There was just trap blocks and kick out blocks. You name it, inside traps, bam, against Kansas City, bam. Boom. Down goes the Chief. There goes Leon Washington up the middle for 60 yards. Split it and hit it. You know, he only had a total of four holding calls in 13 years. So consistent. 201 starts, including nine straight seasons where he started every single game. And everywhere he went, the running game went with him. You watch the chemistry here. The chemistry just can't be said enough right here. How he works right here with DeBrick, passes it off to Mangle and then scoots up to the nose tackle, and then puts a cut on the linebacker. That fit between DeBrickishaw and Nick Mangold is exactly what they needed. Bam, look at this. Inside, Thomas Jones, touchdown runs. And there was a final stop in Arizona. The offense was the same. They were pulling Fanica, running opposite him, getting him going one way, countering him the other way. And then it all culminated, really, in a Super Bowl, 2005. Ben Roethlisberger, a young Ben Roethlisberger in his second year. It was this kind of plays right here. The longest run in Super Bowl history, right on Route 66. 
There goes Willie Parker. To this day, 55 Super Bowls have been run. Nobody has a longer run from scrimmage. Longer touchdown run than Willie Parker. 75 yards right behind Allen Fanning. 13 years in the NFL. 201 regular season starts. Hardly any penalties. So consistent. Pulling right, pulling left. Like he did in this Super Bowl here. The one for the bus. In Detroit. Jerome Bettis' hometown. They would win one for him. Largely behind that offensive line. You take a look here. The opening touchdown for the Steelers of the game. What'd they do? Ben, in his second season, got right on Route 66. Right behind him, pulling left. You watch this play right here, and it's all about Fanica. Marvell Smith, Jeff Hardings, all the guys up front. Chris Kimiatu, you name it. Big Max Starks over at right tackle. It was a good offensive line. But Fanica was the star. Him and Hardings inside, passing stunts so that Ben could have this kind of a passing lane to, to step up and flip the ball off right there to Heinz Ward for a first down. And he cleared the way for Ben to have nice, easy throwing lanes right here. But make no mistake about it, Alan Fanica ran his way to the NFL Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. There was a bunch of Steelers there. He'll be joined by a family. But this play still lives in infamy in the Super Bowl. And it was all Fanica right here with the lead block right on the outside. There it is, cleaning it out. Willie Parker going 75. And Alan Fanica run block and trapping and pulling and power owing his way to Canton, Ohio. Well deserved, Alan Fanica. 13 great years in the NFL. And everywhere you went, the running game went with you. Route 66, we'll never forget.